Alright guys, I want to show you this uh, electronic ignition thing I got from uh, Banggood. It's called Auto Ignition. Here, let me zoom in on it. Auto Ignition RCCSKJ in 4.2 to 13 volts. Out 1.5 to at 5 amps. Auto Ignition. Alright. And this thing cost me twelve dollars. I got it from Banggood shipped. It took like um, I think it was I don't know eleven or twelve days to pick it up. Um, there are some things I'll change on it, but I would actually almost recommend this for anybody that has an extra channel and is running nitro, whether it be a car or a plane, especially a plane though, you know, because you got that prop spinning right there, and you got to remove the glow warmer right there at it all the time. This is perfect uh, for that. Plus, it, the, the good thing about it is it also monitors your receiver your receiver pack voltage. Um, you can set it to work for the 4.8 volt packs, you know, just the 4 AA packs, or you can set it for the 5 cell packs, 5 volts, 6 volts. Um, and I'll, I'll tell you how to do that here in a second. But basically what it is, is uh, when you first turn it on, and if you look right here, it comes with this little LED bulb, which comes with a socket and everything. You just drill a little hole and pop it in, and it's good to go. Um, but when you first turn it on, you notice how it was, it was just flashing really fast green, right? That fast green, when you first turn it on, is indicating that it's set for 6 volts, and it's testing the battery. And then it's green, so we're good to go. Um, if it was flashing red when we first turned it on, then it means it's set for um, 4.8 volts. To change it between the two, what you do is you actually short this LED out. You short the pins to the LED out, and you turn the you turn power on to the uh, to the ignition for three seconds, and then it switches it over for you. But basically, how it works is let me pan back out a little bit, but you hit your third channel, and my glow blows warming up. Um, it's that simple. And then when your battery gets low, this green light will start f turning red, flashing red. And then when it gets too low, it'll actually beep. And uh, it won't shut up until you either charge your battery or change it. So, I mean, it's a pretty cool little, little device for what it is. Um, Things that I would change on it, though, the connection for the uh, glow plug is just a little alligator clip with, uh, you know, the insulator on it. I'm going to change that out. The the ground clip it actually came with the eyelet, so all that was good. There is a uh, crap load of wire on here, which makes it good for working in an aircraft, but it works perfect on this car too, and I like how it, you know, it's always keeping my battery monitored before this setup to uh, monitor my battery I was using uh, I don't know where it is right now but a, uh, I had a little voltage monitor stuck on here but this basically takes up all that buffer by itself and it fits in this box once I get all the wires tucked away in here pretty clean. Yeah. Chirps. Now it beeps differently when you are when you turn your glow on. When the battery is really fully charged, it's loud. When the battery's getting low, well there you go. See like that. See how you're hearing it now? Um once the glow plug heats up all the way, it'll actually get louder. So if I turned it off and turned it back on, it'd be loud. Okay, basically, so basically what it does is when you first turn it on and the glow plug's cold, you hear that. But then once the engine fires up and it doesn't take as much current anymore to actually fire the glow plug, it'll start screaming loud. So, you, you know, 
you know it's on. If you notice, if you wait longer, the longer you wait, the louder it's going to get. But if I was to switch it off and back on, it'd be loud now. So, I don't know. I think uh, it's well worth the money. And it works. There you go. Get you one. I'll leave a, a link to where you can find it under this video.